Let's spin together AutoCAD tip number 6. Easiest way to create complex hatches using AutoLisp. Okay, so here I'm going to show you, I found this routine, uh, it's scattered all over the internet on random forums. I just couldn't find the original download link. Uh, I'll, however, so I'll upload it to my Google Drive and I'll share the link with you. And uh, if you want to see how to install it, just watch my AutoCAD tip number four. I'll post a link too for that as well. Now, let me just show you really quick. This thing's called HatchMaker. Uh, I didn't modify any of the code, so here's the contact information of whoever made it, blah, blah, blah. I'll upload this to my Google Drive and I'll give you guys the link. This is very cool. You'll be able to create custom hatches using this um, and it's very easy. So let me show you how it's done. Let's get right to it. So first, you want to make sure that it's loaded. So we're going to do app load. We're going to load our hatch. Here's our hatch maker. Now, to draw the actual hatch, what you have to do is, uh, the command is first, it says draw hatch, so you're going to type draw hatch, it's going to create this box, see it says draw pattern within one by one box, and you can only use lines or points, no polylines, no circles, uh, no arcs, things like that, okay, simple enough, right, so let's go get to it, so we're going to do can only draw inside this box, remember? So we're gonna do something like this. There you go, it's kind of like a smiley face. Let's say that's my hatch over here. So now to save it, you're gonna type in save hatch. You're gonna hit enter. You're gonna select the three items or whatever you want inside that box. Hit enter again, ask for a description. We're gonna call it ZZZ product, right? That's for the description. Now you have to save it. So first, let's put it on the desktop. I'll call it again ZZZZ bra. There we go. So now let me go back here. So basically what we have to do now is I wanna change this hatch to my new ZZZ zebra hatch, right? So how to do that is first we're going to have to find out uh, what kind of directories AutoCAD looks in for hatches. So you type in options, you go to files, and then support file search path. As you see here, this is by default where AutoCAD stores your pattern files. Pattern files are hatches. Okay. So you can either dump it in this folder and then restart AutoCAD. Or what I like to do is for my own hatches that I download online or create myself, I have my own folder. So let's go do that. So I'm going to click add, browse, and uh, let's go to my computer, C. We're going to create a new folder here. And let's just say hatches. Or we'll call it paths. We'll follow the Autodesk ideology, let's say, right? Maybe. So now I have the C paths. We're going to click OK. We're going to close that AutoCAD because we have to restart it anyway. So let's go do that. We don't need to save changes to this drawing. Okay. Now, this is my ZZZ Zebra hash file. And fun fact, this is how it looks like when you open it. As you see, so it's uh, basically just input numbers and coordinates. That's how hatches are created. And it could be a little confusing how to make this. That's why I really like this auto list routine. So let's go to our folder on the C drive. We're going to go to paths. We're going to dump this in here. Now let's fire up AutoCAD again. And let me get my file out. Take some time. Also, I'm recording, so my machine's definitely not the fastest at the moment. And here we go. Okay, so let's go get to hatching. This is the hatch that I want to change. I should be able to find my new hatch here. And the reason I chose the name Zebra, my personal hatches that I create custom, I like to start with a Z, that way we, um, it throws them at the end, so it's easier to find. Hatches are sorted 
um, in alphabetical order. Okay, so let's go find it. Now we should have a ZZZ zebra hatch somewhere around here. As you see, here's my ZZZ zebra hatch, and I had it all the way at the end, starting with a Z. That's why it's so easy to find. And my computer froze up for a second, so here we have it. Here is my custom hatch. So uh, this is personally my favorite way to do this. Uh, you could take it to a crazy level with AutoCAD. You know, you're making these elevation drawings. Instead of being limited by what's available online or by what you have on your machine, your possibilities become endless once you start making your own hatches. And you know, uh, sometimes in the past, before I had this Autolisp routine, I would actually manually draw something using lines because I was uh, I couldn't use hatches and I still needed to achieve a desired look, you know what I mean? So hopefully you guys will find this very helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next AutoCAD tip.